Buck Paulson here, enter my studio for a moment of defining and refining. We have a small post shot on the easel, a post shot. This was done from memory. I saw, I saw it, and then I came back and did it quickly. I would make a painting from this, and then in the finished painting, you'd kind of define and refine, but we're going to do it on this one because I like it and I like you. Okay, so here's what I want to do first. I want to put a soft veil over that strong smash to get it down just not so overpowering over the whole scene. Then we'll add a little bit of detail in, a little bit of colors and so on, check out our reflections, and then we'll make sure that we still have that good smash. So I'll take some Viridian Green and I'm going to put a little white in that. I started one place and ended up another. My GPS is not working. Okay, here goes the, uh, the Viridian Green and White. Already I'm liking what's happening because you get a glow without crudeness. Now I'm not saying that I'm not going to put a stronger light in there. I just want the, uh, the passengers on the back seat to feel that they're important too. So some of these people, see how that looks better now when you uh, have softened that slightly? We'll come over in here and let's see, just a little there. I'm gonna push across that tree just slightly with this color so that uh, it's not quite as stark. Okay, now once I have that in, then I feel to emphasize this area more, which is in the path, I'll, I'll darken a little bit. But before I do that, let's take some of the same color down in the water. Your accomplice needs to be refined as well. See, what that really is refining, isn't it? Define what you're going to do and then refine. Okay, so let's do that dark down lower. And I have some uh, Viridian Green and a little bit of Van Dyke Brown. I'll tell you, I just love these colors. I love these colors because they are pure and rich and 99% non-toxic. And we use walnut oil, which is non-toxic. And then these paints are made up with using walnut oil. See how that does? You get that strength there. Now we'll have some more light in a minute because we need to have strength, lights, light. And then down at the edge, we, this, this is uh, Van Dyke Brown, maybe just a little green. <clears throat> we want to have a little bit of a contrast. So that brings your eye or it becomes the foundation for the, uh, the scene. like that, and I'll even sneak just a little bit in there. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and make sure we have a good gleam and that we're happy with that. So I'll take white with just a little raw sienna. And this will give me my strong light right there. See with the, um, when we first did it, we had we had, uh, it was very white. We have a little raw sienna in, in with it now. I'll come sharply against that side so that this side is featured more than the other one. And then we come down into the bottom area. See that path? And then we spoke about having a little bit of uh, detail there so we don't just have to jump across there. I'm going to choose just a little bit of red because this certainly is complementary with the green color. So just suggest it a little bit. And I feel, and that's good that you feel, let's put some of this, I have rows down in here so this isn't just a solid wall. I'll take a palette knife, small palette knife, 
And what do I want to use? White with a little yellow oh, right in here. Oh, that's, that's strong. Oops. That's an oops. Don't do that. Put some green on it. And while I have the green on this, I'm just going to soften that a little bit because that, that needs to be a stepping stone rather than the whole house. This is the center of interest. Now I can have just kind of as a small little going away thing, let's take a little uh, radiant green on the brush just to touch a little bit out into the openings there. And same way on this side, just slightly so it's the incidental little leaves. I hope you realize how you can take just about any painting and enhance it, define what you want, refine, and there you are. I hope you've enjoyed that. I just absolutely love to teach, and I hope it shows. See you next time. Bye-bye. This program is funded by the North Dakota Council on the Arts, the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund, with money from the vote of the people of Minnesota on November 4th, 2008 and by the members of Prairie Public. <laughs>